After the Holoride listing on Maya Exchange, Elrond proposed some improvement points for future token listings. The community feedback was clear, and the team started working on a new listing process, one which would be bot-free, and which would aim to work with the excitement surrounding the new token, and hence deal with its high initial volatility. Welcome to a new learning episode, where we will explain everything you need to know about the new listing process, that will be implemented with the launch of the Ethereum token on Maya Exchange. The new listing mechanism can be broken down into three different stages, price discovery, adding liquidity, and trading start. Price discovery is the more information-heavy of the three, but make sure to not skip adding liquidity and trading start, as they also contain crucial information on the unfolding of these stages, particularly for liquidity providers and traders. Let's explore these stages. In the price discovery stage, everyone will be able to deposit either e-gold or Ethereum in a smart contract. We will deposit e-gold, if we want to purchase Ethereum with it, at the end of this stage. Vice versa, we will deposit Ethereum, if we want to sell that Ethereum for e-gold at the end of this stage. The price between the two tokens will be determined at the end of the price discovery stage, given by the ratio between the two tokens deposited in the smart contract, like you see displayed in this graphic. Those who deposited e-gold, will receive locked Ethereum tokens, and those who deposited Ethereum will receive locked e-gold tokens. This swap will be done at the end of the price discovery stage, and it will be the same for everyone meaning, everyone will swap at the same price, the one that was discovered in this stage. The locking mechanism is applied to the resulting tokens for approximately three days, after the e-gold Ethereum listing, to reduce the incentives for speculators, and create a much stronger priority for longer-term contributors. Although the lock tokens will not be tradable for three days to avoid volatility, we can still use these tokens to add liquidity. Now, let's visualize exactly how price discovery will happen. It will unfold in four phases itself. In phase 1, people who wish to purchase Ethereum, will deposit their e-gold in the price discovery smart contract. Vice versa, people who wish to purchase e-gold with their Ethereum, will deposit Ethereum in the smart contract. So, the ratio of e-gold Ethereum will keep updating in real time, in order for the price to be discovered. No swap happens in this phase, therefore people can easily withdraw their e-gold or Ethereum tokens if they change their mind, without any penalty. In Phase 2, deposits of e-gold and Ethereum are still possible, just like in Phase 1, but withdrawals will carry a penalty which will gradually increase over time, from 0% until 5%. This is to discourage attempts of price manipulation, from those who deposit large amounts of tokens, to drive the price up or down, and then withdraw at the last minute. In Phase 3, deposits of e-gold or Ethereum are no longer possible. Withdrawals will carry a fixed penalty of 10%. So where will these penalties go? They will go directly into the price discovery smart contract, contributing to the final ratio between e-gold and Ethereum. In phase 4, the price discovery stage ends, and the ratio of e-gold, Ethereum is established. Withdrawing the initial deposits will no longer be possible. Participants in price discovery can now redeem their purchase as locked tokens, like we talked about in the beginning. And to reiterate, the locked e-gold or Ethereum tokens you purchased will not be tradable for 3 days, but they can still be used to add liquidity. In this next stage, adding liquidity starts. Owners of the newly locked Ethereum and locked e-gold tokens, as well as owners of regular Ethereum and e-gold, can deposit liquidity at the e-gold Ethereum ratio established in the price discovery stage. Providing liquidity after the price discovery stage, with its carefully thought out four phases, and the locking mechanism, should greatly reduce volatility between e-gold and Ethereum. Therefore, it should greatly reduce impermanent loss for initial liquidity providers. It provides a more solid starting point for the new token to make its trading debut. To further incentivize liquidity provision in this stage, liquidity providers will be able to earn a very significant reward of around 1000% APR in the first week following the trading start. Now that price discovery ended, and liquidity was provisioned to the exchange for the e-gold Ethereum pool, trading can finally start. In the initial phase, traders that swap between e-gold and Ethereum will receive the tokens locked for around 3 days. This is to further create the room for long-term supporters to engage with the token, while disincentivizing speculation. At the moment, there is an ongoing Battle of Yields event, to test price discovery. This will allow Elrin to validate their assumptions and fine-tune parameters, such as penalty percentage, token lock time, or phase duration. So, consider the numbers in this video as estimates, and subject to further adjustments. 
If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments below or in our Telegram channels. Make sure to follow us on our socials too. All links are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support us, consider liking this video, consider subscribing to our channel, and of course, consider staking with us. We would also love to hear from you. Drop us a comment below, tell us your thoughts, and tell us what subject you would like us to cover in our next videos. Until next time, Mountaineers!